Family Sewing Society. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. And I'm talking about post grad depression. I'm a recent college graduate and I went through a state of depression, which like many other graduates I know, um, do the same thing. And I'm going to be chatting it up, letting y'all know what happened, how I crawled up out of that depression and all that good stuff while I get ready. So if you want to see how I accomplished this look, then of course, keep on watching in. Before you do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button, y'all. It's a billion YouTubers out there. Help me become one of them, okay? I'll see you guys in a second. Hello, okay. Now y'all see the little scarf. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the Marc Jacobs um, Invisible Undercover perfecting primer and I love the packaging of this so nice I like this primer because it feels kind of moisturizing okay so let's go ahead and get into the topic of conversation I'm gonna be using the Fenty and this is just the um, trial size of the Fenty Beauty foundation this is the soft matte finish and this is in the color <laughs> 420 <laughs> oh this is that was a big pump oh i'm scared y'all i'm not good with foundation like i said i'm not even a big foundation wearer so oh i'm scared i hope that wasn't too much oh this feels like a lot Okay, so before I actually graduating from college, oh, by the way, um, if you guys didn't know or I'm sure you don't, I graduated from Columbus State University with a bachelor's of art bachelor of arts degree in communications with the concentration in integrated media. So basically like in the journalism uh, world. And um, so before graduating, right, uh, instead of like most people, you know, in college you do four years, I was in college for about five years. <laughs> um, and I started off at Columbus State and then I transferred to Georgia State University in Atlanta. And I liked the school, but I actually ended up coming back home um, and finishing my college journey and college career at Columbus State and that's where I graduated from and you know I took a semester off in between so it just you know doing just trying to figure out what the heck I was doing so that's why it took me a little longer than the standard four years so because I was already in school you know a prolonged time like I was towards the end I'll say like the last year of my college life I was literally becoming so annoyed so fed up I didn't want to see another book I didn't want to see another classmate another professor I ain't want to do no more online assignments you know I I was so just exhausted and so tired and drained of school schoolwork just so over it and I just felt like okay boy I cannot wait to graduate so boom and I was like ooh, actually like I'll say like the last three months before I graduated I was like I can't wait to graduate when I graduate when I'm done all I want to do is literally lay in the bed literally I just wanted to stay in um in my room in the bed and just lay there like a freaking mummy for three months straight and just watch tv watch youtube do absolutely nothing um because I was just exhausted from schoolwork and from school and everything. Now, be careful what you ask for, child. I was saying that so much, that's exactly what God blessed me with, okay? So here is when everything started to come into play. Okay, you have foundation on, oh my God. I never wear foundation, this is so weird. Did it cover up anything? Covered up my little marks, okay. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some concealer and I'm going to be using three concealers. I'm going to show y'all Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Dark, a Maybelline 
Fit Me Concealer. And then I'm also using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in Caramel. Okay, anyway, so boom. I graduate and I'm literally doing what I said I was gonna do. In the bed, doing nothing, um, just relaxing. Easing my mind, easing my brain, enjoying this time of not having to have, you know, a freaking assignment due by 11.59. I'm just really basking in this moment. Then, um, of course, as time goes on, three, four months, I'm a big social media person. I'm always on Instagram, Twitter, or whatever. And, you know, time goes by and you're like, okay, I've graduated, great. But, you know, then you start to realize, okay, I've graduated. Now it's time for me to figure out, you know, what's the next step? What am I gonna do? Am I gonna try to get a job? Am I, you know, what, what's the plan? So being on social media, of course, I'm following like all my old classmates from high school or college or friends or family or whatever. And, you know, you start to compare yourself because you see these people you know. I started to see, you know, people that I went to high school with or whatever, they're freaking have a career or a job in their field. Uh, you know, some of them started families, buying houses, buying cars. And I'm like, okay, what am I doing? I'm sitting at home, in home as in my mom, I, you know, with my mom, just kind of doing nothing. Yes, I asked for this break, okay, but that break is over. So I'm like, compare myself every single day to other people, like I said, what they have going on versus what I don't have going on. And but like I said, before graduating, my plan was to always take a second to relax, ease my brain cells, and then try to go, I had two options. Um, try to find an actual like career job in my field or try to create one of my own so where I live in the city of Columbus Georgia yes Columbus is the second largest city in Georgia but it's still a small city like it's not a town it's a city but it's a small city therefore I'm literally applying for positions at radio stations TV stations but the thing about being here is the people that are in these positions at the local TV stations or the um, radio stations news stations these people aren't going anywhere they've been in those positions for years versus in you know uh, a place like Atlanta or New York where it's a lot of positions and they're just simply, I'm applying, but there simply are not positions available. So I'm applying, I'm calling, I'm trying to get interviews and nothing's really going for me. I'm, you know, just really, I'm just really becoming really down on myself because, you know, I'm not doing anything. Here I am, a statistic, a college graduate, no job in their field. Okay guys, so I have that blended in. I'm gonna take actually this um, Airspun Loose Setting Powder and put that under my eyeballs. So at this point, I'm just like questioning my future. I'm like, my, my future is questionable. I don't have a direct outlook. I don't have a precise plan. I thought I did, but it ain't working out for me. Um, I'm gonna go in with this um, Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, and this is in deep. And you know, a lot of people are telling me, oh, if you really, if you wanna have, you know, uh, start a career in the journalism field, you're gonna have to move, which I already had thought about that. I already kinda knew that I would have to relocate just because like Columbus isn't really a big media city, you know? So I already knew that and I was already thinking about it, but it's a lot easier said than done when you don't have really the finances to back you up. I can't just hop up and move with no job and nowhere to live, no money to eat, you know? So. Okay, so now I'm just kind of judging myself. Like, okay, I thought I was better than this. I thought I was gonna be like that person. Finish high school, go to college, get a degree, start their career. Like I thought I was gonna be this person but it turns out I'm not. So shortly after I graduated, which was in December, we all know what happened, Corona comes. Boom, now I'm literally forced 
in the house. The part-time job that I was working closed down because of COVID. So like I said, I'm forced to be in the house, forced to just sulk in my sorrow and my, depress my depression of judging myself, comparing myself to other people. It's just a mess. Okay, I'm gonna contour a little bit using the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in Dark to Zip. So like I said, I'm forced in the house. Y'all, during this time, I don't know what happened to me, but I just became addicted to like ice cream and milkshakes. I literally, every single night would eat like ice cream milkshakes every single night and watch YouTube. I gained like 20 pounds since graduating. I'm trying to lose weight now, child. I know y'all see this, okay? Lord knows I ain't need to gain no more weight. Um, and just started feeling so sorry for myself. Um, mind you, like I said, before I graduated, I had a, like an idea in my head of kind of what I wanted to do, either like work for someone else, like a, you know, a, a TV news station or radio station, or try and create my own career. There's a saying, when someone won't let you over, create your own lane, something like that. Therefore, hence, um, which will, you can click right here on the screen, I created uh, my own podcast show, which I had been created years ago when I was in Atlanta, but it was just um, like a hobby, just like something I was putting on SoundCloud. But now I decided to take it a step further and turn it into like a mini talk show, if you will, with me and my sister. So I do have that and I, you know, I'm focusing on that, but still it's going okay, but it's not like popping off how I want. And it's just because I'm not a very consistent person, which is another thing that plays into my whole entire situation. Even with my YouTube channel here, I've never been consistent. Child, I'm surprised I graduated and didn't stop that. I always start and stop stuff, which is something I'm really trying to work on and change for my life. But still, I'm like, okay, like it, it just sucks because I'm still depressed because this isn't, I just feel like I wasted my time in school. Like, what was the point of me stressing out about exams and presentations and all that kinds of stuff if I was just going to sit in the house and not use my degree? Um, and so my mom and you know my family, everybody says, well, you have to be patient. Everybody doesn't, not every graduate, you know, graduates and gets a career in their field off off rib it just doesn't happen like that the market is oversaturated and you know long time ago say like my mom's generation having a college degree was like you know ooh, you know you stand out it's almost guaranteed you're gonna get a job because you're one of the few now everybody got a degree almost so it's like I said the market is so oversaturated so that's why and also I'm a very, very creative person. So I love creating stuff and just kind of doing things like that. Hence the podcast show. And then also my personal YouTube channel. Um, but really I'm just at a space uh, back then, even now of trying to self motivate and push myself. You know, nothing's gonna happen overnight, but everything will happen how it's supposed to happen. So I'm actually going to um, add some eyeshadow to my eyes and then I'm gonna be using the Too Faced chocolate bun bun palette smells really good i'm gonna be using this color which is like a brown neutral brown yeah and then like fast forward a little bit you know corona has eased up a little bit and i'm talking like a couple months ago so i have a i got a part-time job i'm just at my job like still very much sad very much you know in my feelings you know depressed like dang i did not go to college to be folding t-shirts you know I, that literally was just playing in my head every single day um but there's honestly nothing no one else can do about it it's, it's up to me um and so here comes the problem or the issue or the stress factor of trying to manage um working a nine to five and then also having a uh five to nine if you don't know what a five to nine the nine to five obviously is like what you do what you have to do in order to make money to survive right not something that you necessarily want to do and then the five to nine is like your passion project um something that you're passionate about your side hustle in in this case mine would be my podcast show and then uh sophie society and my other youtube channel and so I'm over here getting freaking annoyed 
agitated, all that kinds of stuff because by the time I get off work, I'm tired. I don't feel like recording no videos. I don't feel like doing any of that stuff. Y'all, just a big giant mess. Like, it's up to me to fix the problem. If I don't like the way my life is going or, you know, my career is going or whatever, that's my that's my thing. Like, I have the degree. I have the knowledge, the tools, the information. It's up to me to utilize it. And I just have to keep reminding myself over and over and over and over and over. Nothing happens overnight. Everything is a process. It's going to take time. I have a saying right here on my wall that says success doesn't come from what you do. Occasionally, it comes from what you do consistently once again i told y'all consistency is my biggest issue okay i'm going to be using the nyx micro brow pencil in espresso so the biggest thing for me was and is comparing myself to other people i don't know why i'm like that i i, I just am and i really hate that um or i really don't like that about myself but i am getting better i'm you know learning everybody's life is different uh, you know what's for you is for you and it's gonna happen you may not see when it happens but it's it's gonna happen for you whatever is for you okay. um, guys I did my eyebrows this is how they look I'm trying not to give them a super duper dramatic sharp brow how I used to in the past I'm also gonna take some blush this is the Milani um, blush in Coral Co looks like this very nice yeah so fast forward to where I'm at now in my life um you know I do still have my part-time job nine to five whatever um and I am trying to refocus back on my podcast show we are actually coming up on season two so y'all can click on the screen um, or in my in the description box and check out season one um, I'm also trying to really focus and be dedicated towards this YouTube channel and just be consistent because you know I feel like it could grow but I won't know if I keep playing um, and just trying to stay like self-motivated because um, and being optimistic which that honestly that's what kind of helped me crawl out of that depressed state post-grad uh depression was trying to just think to myself okay what do you want okay boom got it figured out how are you gonna do it that's kind of what helped me crawl out of that is just having something to look forward to i know i can be or do whatever i want as long as I, you know, be consistent and believe what I'm saying and be dedicated, y'all. And I'm preaching to the choir because I know all this, yet I have a hard time applying it. Okay, guys, I have on the eyelashes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some Urban Decay um, Perversion Mascara to my bottom lashes and a, and some on my fake eyelashes too I'm gonna go ahead and move into lips so what I'm going to first do is line my lips with Milani lip liner in rich cocoa y'all I'm so hungry starving okay and then I'm gonna add my body okay and then I'm gonna use my Mac lipstick in mule it over and it just looks like this a very um and it's in the powder finish. So I'm gonna put this in the center. Okay, and then on top of that, I'm gonna go in with my Buxom Lip Gloss in Seychelles Breeze. And if I'm not mistaken, this is Oh, it's a lip plumping cream, so it's supposed to plump your lips. I'm black, so I don't need it. But, um, whatever. I like the color. <laughs> uh, 
crack myself up. Okay, but yeah, back to just to kind of wrap up my post-grad depression conversation with you guys. Um, like I know, like I didn't want to be the statistic, the like, like I said, college grad, no career in their field. But you know, if I really look at it in hindsight, which my mom kind of brought to my attention, no, I don't have like a real like punching nine to five in my field yet or even if, if that's even something that I still want to pursue but everything that I learned in school as far as like journalism and communications like um, I learned so much about just behind the camera um, lighting editing um, just digital techniques all that so I am utilizing every all those things that I learned even writing towards my podcast show because I do produce that and then also my YouTube channel um so I am utilizing the education that I got I'm just not really using my degree for another company right now but um I think in the end it'll all pay off hopefully I just need to like I said be consistent in what I want to do which is really my podcast show and my YouTube channel so if you guys enjoyed what you just witnessed then please hit the subscribe button I'm at 499 subscribers and I'm really trying to get to 500 just one more because I feel like once I get to 500 of course I can get to a thousand once I get to a thousand I feel like it's only up from there you know so if you guys really enjoy watching this video and my content and you know what I'm saying what I got going on please help my channel grow I would really 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 appreciate it so that is going to be all for this video on Sophie Society and I will see you guys actually first off comment down below if you are in college or you're a recent college graduate and you can relate to anything that I just said comment down below because I would love to interact with you guys and see you know what you went through comment down below and let me know girl we can chat okay and I will see you guys in my next video Thank you.